Hey, I'm going to be discussing the various ways to open Internet Explorer and how to control which website Internet Explorer goes to when you open it. First of all, the most common way to get into Internet Explorer is probably the desktop icon right here. Um, another way to get into it is down here by the start button. This area is called the quick launch area. Um, some computers have it enabled and others don't, so you may not see that on your computer. Um, but you can just single click on the Internet Explorer icon at the bottom and that's another way to launch it. Uh, another way is if you click the start button you will probably see this internet icon here. Um, now this is also another another one of those things where it may be on your computer and it may not. And another thing is if you have a different web browser on your computer such as Firefox or Opera or Safari or Google Chrome you may see an icon for one of those programs instead of Internet Explorer in this internet area of the start menu. Um, but that just depends on how your computer is set up. But uh, by default it will be Internet Explorer. And another way to get to it is if you come to all programs you have this Internet Explorer icon here. So again the four ways are the desktop icon the quick launch icon down here by the start button and then you have the start menu internet icon and then finally you have the Internet Explorer icon in the programs list. So those are the four ways to get into Internet Explorer. So the way I have it set up on my computer is when I open Internet Explorer it goes to google.com. Um, now let's say that I wanted to change that to yahoo.com <clears throat> the way that I would do that is I'd come up here to the Tools menu and click Internet Options. And now you'll see here in the Home Page section I have it set to Google.com right now. I'll just highlight the part that says Google and change it to Yahoo. Now I'll click OK. I'll close Internet Explorer. You don't have to close it, but I'm just closing it to show you. And I'll open it back up and you'll see that now it's going to yahoo.com and another thing you can do with Internet Explorer um, if you have version 7 or version 8 is you can have multiple home pages so here I am back in the Internet Options window I'll just press enter to go down a line and I'll type in the address for Google and now you'll see I have both listed here I'll click OK and I'll close Internet Explorer and open it back up and you'll see I now have two tabs at the top of Internet Explorer I have Yahoo and Google and I can just click them to switch back and forth this is so that if these are two websites that I always go to when I open Internet Explorer I don't have to take the time to actually go to them they'll just go to, uh, Internet Explorer will go to them automatically so that's the purpose of that and that's how you change what your home page is. Now I'll give you a different scenario. Let's say that sometimes I use Yahoo but not often enough to justify setting it as my home page. There's a couple things you can do in that case. Uh, definitely the most common thing to do is to simply add it to the favorites. And the way you do that is you either click the Favorites menu and choose Add to Favorites, or you can click this little star that has a plus sign. I'll just go ahead and do that and click Add to Favorites. And now I'll click Add. So now if I come to my Favorites, there's Yahoo. So that means that, you know, if, if I open Internet Explorer, here I am at Google, but I want to go to Yahoo, rather than typing in yahoo.com up here I can just click favorites and click Yahoo just two mouse clicks instead of having to type um, so that's one way to do it now let's say that I wanted an icon right on my desktop that goes straight to Yahoo well the first thing to do is to um, make Internet Explorer a window so that it's not maximized and the way that you do that is this middle button up here you click that see where it says restore down I'll click that and now it's a window and I can see my desktop. And then the next thing to do is right here where the icon is for the website, uh, I'll go ahead and click this and I'm holding down my mouse button. 
Now I'm going to drag it up here to the desktop and let go. And you'll see I now have an icon that will take me straight to Yahoo. So now I'll show you what happens. I'll go ahead and close Internet Explorer. So if I chose to go to google.com, what I could do is just open Internet Explorer since that's my home page. It just takes me straight to Google. But on that rare occasion that I do want to go straight to Yahoo, rather than opening Internet Explorer and going through my favorites or typing yahoo.com, I can just use this Yahoo icon that I just made. So I'll show you again. Um, let's go to bing.com, which is um, Microsoft's search engine. Let's say that I wanted to make an icon for that. I'll go ahead and click the middle icon here to restore the window down. Now I'll grab the icon. I'm holding down my mouse button. Drag it over to the desktop and then let go. So there you have it.